Hello friends, today I will discuss about number of disk insulator used in different voltage level in case of transmission line system. Before going through this video, you are requested to please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Now what are the advantages for using disk insulator in case of transmission line system? Each Dix insulator rating is 11 kV. So, for higher voltage level, that is for 33 kV or 66 kV or 132 kV, number of Dix uh, required is more. And therefore, uh, but by increasing the number of Dix of same rating, we can use same Dix for different voltage level. Number two, it is easier for maintenance. That is, if any Dix out of uh, 10 or 15 discs uh, of string fail failure occur then only the failure discs is sufficient to change uh, and the other discs um, are not required to replace number three the disc insulator provide good support for conductor uh, in a transmission line number four the creepage distance creepage distance is uh, total distance from the uh, top to bottom of the disc insulator across uh, the surface of the insulator that is uh, if creepage distance, uh, distance is more then it will provide more uh, resistive path for arc and therefore uh, it is uh, better to use disc insulator for in case of uh, transmission line there are two types of disc insulator use that is uh, based on material that is one is porcelain and then the number two is glass insulator. Now, based on uh, use of uh, tension or suspension type insulator, this type is uh, two type. That is 70 kN used for suspension type string and 120 kN used for tension type string. Now, number of disc insulator for 11 kV voltage level. For 11 kV voltage level, here phase to phase voltage. Uh, is 11 kV. Therefore, uh, the uh, line to earth voltage is 11 by root 3 which is comes as 6.35 kV. Therefore, it is sufficient uh, to use uh, one number of dicks uh, for suspension type uh, string but uh, in case of tension one more number of uh, dicks that is two number of dicks is used for 11 kV system. Now number of disc insulator for voltage level 33 kV. For 33 kV voltage, 33 kV is the line to line voltage and uh, line to line earth voltage is 33 by root 3 which is comes as 19.05 kV. Considering 10% overshoot of voltage which is equal to uh, comes as 19.05 uh, into 1.1 is equal to 20.95 kV. Therefore, number of discs uh, which is to be used for uh, 33 kV voltage is 20.95 by 2 approximately equal to 2. For safety purpose, another disc is added that is total number of discs for suspension type uh, string is 3 number and for uh, tension uh, one more disc is used that is 4 number of discs used for 33 kV system. Now, what are the number of uh, discs uh, used for a string of 66 kV voltage level? Uh, for 66 kV uh, voltage level, the line to line or phase to phase voltage is uh, 66 kV. Here, line to earth voltage is 66 by root 3, which is equal to 38.1 kV. Considering 10% overshoot of voltage, that is, comes as 38.1 into 1.1 is equal to 41.91 kV. If you divide uh, 41.91 by 11, it is comes as approximate equal to 4. Therefore, taking additional uh, margin of 1, number of discs to be used for uh, 66 kV suspension type string is equal to 5 number. Again, for tension uh, string, one more number is added, that is 6 number of disc insulator should be used for 66 kV tension type string. 
Now number of DICS insulator for voltage level 132 kV system. Here line to line or face to face voltage is 132 kV. Hence uh, the line to earth voltage is 132 by root 3 is equal to 76.21 kV. Considering 10% overshoot of voltage which is comes as 76.21 into 1.1 is equal to 83.83 kV. Therefore if we divide 83.83 by 11 you will get as equal to approx equal to 8. Now for safety margin additional one number of DIX is added that is for suspension type uh, DIX insulator or string uh, there should be 9 number of DIX for 11, 132 kV system and again for 10 cent type of string one additional DIX is added uh, for mechanical support that is total 10 number of DIX insulator is used for 132 kV 10 cent type string. Now number of DIX insulator for voltage level of 220 kV system. Here line to line voltage is 220 kV hence line to earth voltage is 220 by root 3 which is equal to 127 kV. Considering 10% overshoot of voltage which is comes as 127 into 1.1 equal to 139.7 kV. Therefore if we divide 139.7 by 11 which comes as 13 uh, approximate equal to 13 number. Uh, one additional uh, DIX is added for safety margin that is total number of DIX for suspension type in string is equal to 14 number and again for tension type string one additional DIX is added that is 15 number of DIX is used for tension string for voltage level 220 kV system. Now for 400 kV system 400 kV is the line to line voltage your line to mm, earth voltage is 400 by root 3 equal to 231 kV considering 10% overshoot of voltage which is comes as 231 into 1.1 is equal to 254.1 kV. If you divided it uh, 2 uh, 254.1 by 11 kV which comes as approximate equal to 23 number for additional safety one number of DICs is added that is 24 number of DICs should be used for a suspension type uh, string of 400 kV voltage system. Again for tension uh, string one more number of uh, DICs is added that is 25 number of DICs insulator is used for 400 kV tension string. So here uh, the number of DICs and voltage level is uh, shown in this figure for 11 kV sus for suspension string one number of DICs uh, insulator is used for tension it is 2. For 33 kV system voltage suspension string number of DICs insulator used is 3 and for tension it is 4. For uh, 66 kV system for suspension type string it is uh, 5 number of DICs to be used and for tension string 6 number of DICs to be used. For 132 kV voltage system number of DICs for suspension string is 9 and for tension is uh, 10 number of DICs. For 220 kV voltage system number of uh, DICs for suspension string is 14 number and for tension string it is 15 number. For 400 kV system mm, and for, uh, number of DICs for suspension type string is 24 number and for tension string it is 25 number.